Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this video how I day trade in today's session I'm going to be recapping 13 trades I took for 13 winners now these trades were taken over two hour sessions two of them uh, they were around um, some of the trades were taken during our live trading room sessions others were just before I got underway or just before the sessions started traders the setups or the strategies that I trade almost all of them are, are mechanical rules based setups setups that anyone can learn and I'll be showing you from the right hand side of the chart exactly what I'm looking for now even though I specialize in nowadays the futures markets I used to uh, trade full-time the Forex markets I love the futures and the currency futures contracts but you can apply these exact same setups to any market whether it be futures Forex or stocks now as we do get underway I do need to get the disclaimer up and running uh, traders you can pause the video to read the disclaimer the bottom line is this do not trade with capital you can't afford to lose even more importantly start on the simulator master the setups on the simulator then you can go live the markets will be here next week next month next year impatience is one of the greatest killers of traders very very quick um, uh, advertisement and it'll be over in a sec uh, if you haven't already uh, click on the link below for the video and you can download my ebook for truth about day trading I've got a whole lot of other goodies there that you can uh, also download please make sure you subscribe to my channel that way you uh, click on the link below that way you'll be kept up to date with all of my latest videos and very quickly if you're a new or experienced trader for $197 you can get my entire program there's over 200 hours of online video instruction but hang on for good part is you don't have to watch all of those there's a whole range of different strategies that I teach you there's now over 40 powerpoints so it's nothing else like it in the market plus I give you all of my indicators so um, whether you're trading TradeStation Ninja 7 8 MT4 look I've got a whole stack of indicators there so you can get all of the indicators there they're included in the program and traders make no mistake this is a ten thousand dollar plus uh, program and as a bonus you can also attend eight of my live sessions that is each month I run eight live two-hour coaching sessions where I've got traders hundreds of traders from all around the world log in and I train them live now if they can't attend the sessions because most of the uh, sessions are 8 p.m. to sorry 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time US time they are recorded so if you're unable to attend you can go back and uh, review that uh, review those at any time later on and there's a whole lot of handouts you get in each session as well they're included so $197 gets you my core program and eight coaching sessions so uh, that's it let's get into this now so traders I've been day trading now for over 27 years getting close to 28 years and over that period of time I've discovered a whole range of different types of setups now just to make them easy I code them the T1 is the super scalper the T2 is the slingshot you got a mean reversion which is a counter trend trade but a very high probability so there's a whole range of strategies that I teach now you'll see me uh, when I go to the charts in a moment you'll see I probably only use two or three of these uh, in the live sessions and what is very important become a specialist I recommend that you focus on only one or two strategies until you're consistently profitable when it comes to day trading truly less is more now you may wonder then why have so many well just like a, a, a tradesman has different tools for different jobs so where you'll see me I think I take one or two counter trend trades uh, I love CT trading but I've been doing this a long time I recommend to all members or all new traders do not counter trend trade early in your career so basically there's a setup for just about every different type 
of market condition and what's also important is that we will be looking at the Renko charts today but you can apply the exact same strategies to tick to time based to volume it really does not matter now we are going to be looking at uh, the micro NQ and the reason is that in my live trading rooms uh, where these sessions or trades were taken during or just before most of my members start out by trading the micros that's what I recommend they trade why well you only need an account of around a thousand dollars and now's the time to make all the mistakes you're possibly going to make on a $1,000 account you start from there and build so even if you've got 100,000 start with a thousand start with the micro cut your teeth on those and you can go from there now even with just a thousand dollars so say if you don't have a lot of cash uh, perhaps it's very hard for you to see there but just to quickly show you this uh, wrong one if I just go to compound sheet this one here so if you've got uh, say $1,000 in your account and if you go for let's just say $30 a day here and by the way as a member you get all of these different types of spreadsheets that I've got but on $30 a day it will take you 33 weeks to get to an income of around 10,000 a week that's right you can start off $1,000 go for just 30 a day and you're there within 33 weeks and how this table works is that you do not start trading a second contract until you double your money what you might decide to do after 10 or 15 weeks okay I've, I've really done my internship on the micro I have other capital I'll fast track this so you can do that of course but if you're low on funds and I know and I respect of course that times are tough for a lot of families okay you can start with a thousand and look where you've got the potential of being now let me say this so over here where it says he had 10,000 a week you're trading 73 micro contracts well actually that's not what you would be doing as soon as you build your accounts up to around ten thousand dollars you would start trading a big contract okay so that way yeah uh, the con the uh, commissions are a lot lower on the uh, on the big contract and what they are on the micro so the micro is 10 percent of the value so then you'd be trading and allowing ten thousand dollars per contract you're trading now you may say well hang on Ray my broker tells me when I'm trading intraday I only need five hundred dollars that is correct but we've got a number of rules we work to we never risk any more than two percent of our capital and there's a, a number of other rules we apply so remember traders this is about, this is about staying in the business long term I could give you all sorts of ultra beautiful figures here but they just wouldn't be real now what I'm going to show you here is that realistically if you're putting in two to three hour sessions and on average say at least two hours in my opinion you should be netting at least after commissions $50 a day okay and so you're at the $10,000 a week mark potentially in 18 weeks that is the true potential there's nothing else like it out there but the rules are we never risk any more than 2% of our account accounts on any one trade uh, we also start out by trading one market only and we do not counter trend trade initially so what this means is here I'm up to 10,000 a week in 18 weeks how do I get there all I need is three to four five step trades a day and I'll show you that in a moment that'll easily net you your $50 now the examples and you've probably seen many of my videos where I've got I do this basically every day but uh, here uh, I've got 25 trades now in fact um, it shows 25 but that's I was trading two contracts in front of the members on 12 of those trades so in fact that that's what makes it look so big so it was actually 13 trades for 100% um, win rate now a couple of those trades which I'll show you in a moment are what we call 
probing trades and that is where if we're not really sure if the markets moving we jump in if it stalls we can always get back out but I'll show you that in a moment now the bottom line was this that I easily uh, achieve 60 70 dollars per contract in less than two hours each time that is realistic and by the way you go oh only 50 to 70 80 dollars that's seven to eight hundred dollars on the big contract so as I you know as I say to members get rich slowly let me teach you how to trade on the micros once you've mastered it on the micros then you go to the big contract so let's go to the charts and I'll explain these setups for you now whoops come on where are you wonder why you're stopped so it's very very important you understand where your pivots are or know where your pivots are so this is a 2BD so I'm going to short this one now 2BD I won't go into all the individual rules uh, is a lower probability trade it's a trade we take after a two after a, a divergence trade so what I will usually do is if I see the price stalling so I short it here uh, and it's what I call probing if I feel it stalls and in fact it did stall at that stage I will get out of the trade and wait and, and on get back in now in this particular case I call it probing it almost sounds a horrible word or horrible um what will we call it anyway doesn't sound very nice but I'm probing the market here and I want to see whether it's moving now if I feel and there was a red a green candle there if I feel it's going to go against me or it's stall I'll get out I actually got a of that covering commissions plus a couple of ticks profit okay that was my second trade never third trade then I then got back in and I sold down into the days prior low and I got out just there now you can see it went on a little further after that okay but um, uh, not too far at all and so we see these and we'll actually call these what um, we call them pivot bounces we'll quite often bounce off these and it's fantastic if you have divergence with them as well okay so now I'm pulling back now as we pull back I'm usually expecting a bounce up here this is a 200 EMA I'm usually expecting a bounce up there and up we come in fact that sets up what we call a t12 now we then set up a nice little double top there and I want you to notice the divergence just there okay we had divergence now I then here we go I entered this trade here and this is what we call a kitchen trade or a money on the floor trade we've got a lower high and here in this case I usually uh, and on this one here's another example where I probed the market got out with only a few ticks it was still a winner but I got out and it was also what we call a t20 trend continuation see down here see that arrow there see that arrow there see that one there like that one we had back up there t20s will identify um, it doesn't matter what trading platform you've got you can if you don't have ninja trader and I've got it got the uh, indicator set up for trade station as well it's a very mechanical easy to learn rule and that's another thing here every one of these trades I'm taken I'm taking uh, is based upon a rule a set of rules okay so they're rules based strategies which is very important so I shorted here and I got out and you may wonder why I got out there there it is there I had a reversal candle I'm what I call a momentum trader I want to see the market moving and when we pull back like this see these EMAs here see how flat they are well that's where we can also be leading to a pullback or even a change in market direction I did have a t20 here 
which will quite often you can see a nice little pullback and T20s by the way um, you can trade as a standalone setup and I'll point some out as we go you can trade them standalone it's a 100 percent mechanical setup so you had one there you had one there you had one there we've got one here and I got back in there is what we call a t20-1 and thank you very much and that was trade number five note here we come down we had a pivot bounce once again now whenever we've got a deep pullback like this I'm expecting and there it is right there a t20 uh, once again now I want you to look at our EMAs we are in a downtrend now little confusing here right now because generally the footprints to a trend are lower highs and lower lows for a downtrend or higher highs and higher lows for an uptrend here I'm sort of chopping around a little bit but I'm still trending down so I'm going to look for another short opportunity okay now still not quite sure and just a simple rule I'll give you see this blue here that's called the cloud um, it's very easy to set up and once again if your trading platform doesn't allow you to put a cloud in it's just based upon what's happening with the EMAs very simple rule but we want to be cautious for short trades when you've got a blue cloud um, when I've got an orange cloud I didn't want to make it red because of the red candles uh, that's a go or it can really increase your probabilities now we can still trade these but when you've got a very deep pullback to take one of these you want to make sure you've got divergence so I don't have anything yet so I'm still sending back and look at this by the way see that there that is what we call divergence slightly higher high and a lower high on my MACD now that's called divergence so we'll just stay with this for a minute okay all right now here is a t20 again in fact we call this a t20 trend continuation so over here um, that's a t20 trend continuation this is a trend continuation this is a trend continuation well why is that well because we're still in a downtrend so I'm going to be looking for a trade so as we come down so now I'm getting interested and actually just here I think yes I do and just there I take a short now I shorted that not directly on the t20 I wanted to see my cloud setup I wanted to start to see I call that a fanning of the EMAs now in taking that trade as with any trade here here's what we want to consider where's my entry where's my stop go and where's my target so here I entered on this one my stop would have been above um, this little swing high and look down below us we've got down here the hot pink that is the prior low of the day so that's a great target however I call these steps see these little step downs I call them steps and usually I'm after five steps on my first lot of contracts why because we hit it such a really 90% of the time you're going to hit five steps and the rest will go for seven but where I may move my target is when I've got a pivot below that is I might make it larger why because they become a self-fulfilling prophecy so let's just if this is trade number six uh, and I actually got out of both contracts there and that is I hit five steps one two three four five just there and I went to break even on the others and did I get out yes I got out of those as well so I'm, I'm totally flat just there so now we've made a new lower low that's fantastic new lower low do you know what I'm looking for I'm looking for another short trade so as I pull back okay so there's my t20 again you can see there you could have made money just trading the t20s there 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 okay 
as we're coming back we have um, one just there did I take that uh, ah and I'll tell you why I didn't take that that was the start of our live trading room just there that's at uh, um, 5 a.m. Central Standard Time or let me think did I start at 4 that day I can't remember it doesn't really matter but obviously I didn't take that one but there was one just there now pulling back again here is by the way a t20 uh, down into the pivot we bounced and here I've taken this one ah okay so I've taken this one because I've got a lower high on that trade so see that there I've now got a lower high so we're falling so it gives me a really good indication there that I'm probably going to uh, come down to at least that pivot again okay and I'm out there another winning trade now what I want to show you thus far I've only taken one counter trend trade now there's been a number of others along the way for an example you could have taken that one in fact we call that one up here a bet the farm I bet the farm is where we have a double top or major divergence in the direction of the trend now it's pretty much tongue-in-cheek when we say bet the farm but um, uh, we still follow our exact same money management rules but it's a higher probability trade let me pause this and let me go and find the other live room trading session which is the same day just some hours later just a moment okay so same day that was uh, was at 4 a.m. in the morning which is what which is actually uh, what we call the London open traders then we uh, have the uh, the New York close so this is we call it uh, in my live trading room this is the New York close so this is our uh, 1230 Central Standard Time and we had a 2b and you can notice here that the the um, uh, the t20 we're just chopping backwards and forwards so when you hit consolidation that's sort of a bit of a danger zone so I took it a trade here and we look like we were going to stall and one thing I just thought of too the time frame this is a 12 tick Renko and generally speaking during the New York hours I'll trade a 16 tick Renko why because the market moves a lot quicker a lot faster on this particular day which is the 3rd of uh, uh, November 2022 it was quite slow that afternoon so the advantage of having a lower time frame smaller time frame is my stop loss is smaller that is if I was to say say if I was to enter this trade here on the NQ I want to see my stop loss two ticks above a swing high so if I got in down here my stop would be two ticks above up here two ticks above if I was going long here two ticks below two ticks below and by the way the white paint bar is called my super scalper so I entered this trade and I got in up here and I got out fairly quickly and why it's hard for you to see there oh no it's not hard you can see it there I entered that is a 2b very early and it then uh, reversed okay well it started to so I got out picked up a couple of ticks out of it that's why it still is a winning trade picked up covered commissions and a couple of dollars out of it that was trade number eight then trade number nine I jumped back in again and down I went now did I take that trade sorry that's a 1d no I didn't take that one okay so that's a counter trim one by the way now I then had a 2bd up here 2bd is a trade that sets up after we have divergence so here I've taken uh, this as a short this is trade number 10 down we go thank you very much and now I've got a 2d now I'll just quickly explain that I trade with an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two this is what we're looking at here is what we call my entry chart and what I'm doing is trading in the direction of higher time frames it increases your probabilities dramatically that's why I have such a high win rate it's following I'm looking for a pullback and a continuation back in the direction of the higher time frame so that was a nice little if we had have taken that divergence trade 
um, and in my live trading rooms by the way and members watching this know this I don't take divergence trades in the room and the reason I don't it encourages members to trade divergence but divergence is always great to look back on and so I should have entered there but what can actually happen is you can become focused looking for market reversals and then miss out on the trend trades so I recommend all new traders and even if you're not so new stick with trading with the trend and maybe never trade divergence but you still need to understand divergence so as we're coming back here um, there was um, oh, I did take that divergence trade actually um, so I jumped in on this one what time was that ah that was 15 minutes before before the room opened it opens up at 1 so I jumped in I took this as a CT trade but note where I got out you may remember on the last trade I got out at the cyan line as well as I did here why because we quite often as you can see there didn't quite make it we bounced we bounced we bounce off it all the time so if I take a CT trade counter trend trade I want to get out just there so this is probably a trade I took just here was it um, oops let me just do this scroll down here yes that was a nice little uh, trade I took just there thank you very much down we come okay looking for another short now look at this we are making lower highs and lower lows here so let me just quickly scroll and that's 12 I think we only had 13 trades in this sequence now uh, so I've had 12 out of 12 we've got one more trade we'll see in a moment and so I'm explaining trade setups as I'm teaching members how to trade at this stage so I'm training members and marking these up as I see them and here is a 2b so this will be trade 13 thank you very much and down we come so it was 13 out of 13 we're still um, still training here and just pointing out the different setups as they set up real time now traders that's 13 out of 13 traders let me say this you are only as good as your last trade so this is not boasting here what I'm showing you here is the power of when you trade using mechanical rules based strategies that's what these are they're rules based strategies now one of them and I just saw this here and this is where traders get impatient remember back on this slide here where was it let me pull this up if we go back to this for a moment you only need four I call them scalps a day that is effectively five to six hundred dollars a day per big contract all you need is four of these a day where you've got a fanning of the EMAs but when you see your EMAs coming together like this do I have a fanning here no that is the danger zone and this is where traders want to constantly push their luck okay it looks good now there's actually a t20-1 there's um, as most of our members know of but we are starting to go sideways what we want to see here is a fanning of the EMAs very very important to your trading so traders I've covered a lot in this last um, uh, 30 minutes now you can do this this is not rocket science what it takes is patience and discipline that's what it takes unfortunately there's so many um, you know YouTube videos out there and articles and you go and Google it telling you how yes you can get rich quick as a trader that's rarely true but you can get rich slowly that is approach it from a conservative point of view that is if you open an account with a thousand dollars double that then start trading another contract get to 3,000 start trading your third contract that's how you build both confidence and competence and that's what you learn in my live coaching sessions and my live trading room now for 197 as I mentioned you get my entire program plus eight sessions in my 
coaching room okay so eight live two-hour sessions plus all the PowerPoints so I'm training you in the coaching room so come along and join me only $197 the links to join are down below but traders you can do this if you put the time in it and apply discipline and patience thanks for watching see you in the next video oh make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my videos thanks traders